So today's job is to rebuild this 900 replica, Mike Helwood replica crankshaft. And as you can see, we can do that with uh, original parts, which I'm going to show you right now. So these are the original crankshaft webs um, that have been cleaned out. As you can see here is a sludge trap. You can see right through it. No dirt or sludge trap left inside there. Um, so these are all measured and good to go. Next up is a set of original but refurbished uh, con rods and a brand new uh, 38 millimeter pin that we're going to use. And this has all been measured because the uh, well, the clearance on the big end bearing is what is critical in this case. Uh, we can see later on what that clearance and how the clearance is, is actually uh, set and what it should be. And then, uh, last but not least, we have a set of original bearing cages that have been silver plated. And a brand new set of rollers, three millimeter rollers, to go into these bearings. And obviously a set of thrust washers uh, on the side. So now this is all coming together and we'll show you how that is done. I'm going to measure the distance between the crank pin hole in the webs and the crank pin itself. And I'm using this very nice Mititoyo device and uh, well just have a look what I'm doing. First I'm setting it to zero. Okay, that's zero. Then I take the this web. and see what I measure. 110 thousandths plus, uh, minus, sorry. And I'm writing that down. to be exact. Check if it's still zero. Now you see, I did a correct measurement. Four 
for measuring the crank pin I have this very nice MITI Toyo electronic uh, thing and also this one needs to be set at zero before measuring It's a little bit less. This is the pin. Okay, that's it.
Ja ga ook een paar. Dat moest ik wel even zeggen. Nu wel. Voor je elke keer verschillende radio's. Ja. Dat is een knip, knip, mooie seconde radio. So here you can see the finished crankshaft, which has all been aligned using our uh, special heavy copper hammer. And as you can see on the dials, it measures uh, around 0.3 and 0.2 on each scale, meaning that it is, uh, this is actually measured in hundreds of millimeters. So that's uh, three hundredths of a millimeter on the left and uh, two hundredths of a millimeter on the right, which is well within our uh, 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 threshold for uh, uh, making these crankshafts. Uh, another thing that is what is critical and is the most important with, with these crankshafts is actually the bearings, uh, the big end bearings that are inside the conrods. Uh, these, when we pulled it apart, we found that the, uh, uh, the, the clearance on the bearing was beyond uh, the threshold, uh, meaning above three hundredths of a millimeter. And we, uh, with this newly uh, made pin and refurbished original conrods, we brought it down to 0.20 millimeter uh, clearance, which is between the, uh, the, the well, around two and three hundredths of a millimeter clearance that we're actually aiming for. So this crankshaft is uh, well completely rebuilt, good to go, and uh, we'll take it from there. The crankshaft now finished. This will be used, obviously, in our uh, complete restoration of a 1979 Mike Hillwood replica. So be sure to follow and subscribe this, uh, this channel. Uh, this concludes another episode. Toodle doki. See you next time. <laughs>